Yo, what's good, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Coven. This is episode nine, and I feel on top of the world. I've been ill, very ill. I had tonsillitis. I had all sorts. I had a headache. I was dizzy. I had hot and cold sweats for about four or five days straight. My throat was like I couldn't even talk. My glands were swollen. Every time I swallowed, it was like swallowing like a thousand needles each like individually scraping down i couldn't even like drink properly ah <sighs> i couldn't even talk couldn't even raise my voice but now i can and i feel great um considering it's been quite a while since i watched episode eight i'm just gonna do a, a small recap on that episode because quite a bit actually happened uh, it ended on Delphine's head being cut off, obviously, by Marie Laveau. Um, just before Marie entered the room to kind of torture Delphine, Queenie was looking like she was having second thoughts about what she was doing. And then they were interrupted by Marie. Uh, you had the whole witch hunter thing, Cordelia's husband shooting the mum. I want to say something about the mum. I don't trust her. I don't know what she's doing with Luke in that house. It's a big house. It's just those two living there. It's weird. She put him in the bathtub with some, uh, whatever that thing's called, attached to something as if like some hospital drip or I don't know, man. She must be injecting him with something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. And... When Luke and Nan tried to escape the house, the mum mum was just like kind of suspicious. She was like, I, I brought you into this world and I can take you out of it. So, I don't know. Keep my op eye open on that one. And obviously she died, but then Misty Day resurrected her. Um, we don't know what happened from then. Let's move my mic closer. Uh, Fiona wanted to see how, how Misty Day's powers worked. she done it. That's the last we saw of it. We then we saw Fiona and Cordelia a bit later on. So we don't know what's happened to Misty Day. Um, all the girls of the coven tried to kill Fiona. But it didn't work out. Because Spalding in the afterlife managed to, managed to convince Fiona to drink this quick to wake her up. And I don't know, like kind of overturned the overdose. And it's, it's annoying me a little bit because I still haven't got an answer as to why Zoe killed Spalding. Like, there was just there was absolutely no need to kill Spalding. Even Cordelia was like, where the hell is all the staff around here? Like, even Cordelia didn't even put Zoe up to it. Zoe is a new girl at this boarding school and she's taken it into her own hands to kill the butler. Like, I know he's done some evil shit, but hold him accountable for it. Do you know what I mean? You've only just found out the truth. Just let him live a bit longer to get some justice for what he's done, for what he's witnessed, for what he's kept a, a secret. But Zoe just kind of took it away, a man. I feel like the show kind of killed Spalding off just for that moment with Fiona. Otherwise... If Zoe didn't kill Spalding, then the plan to kill Fiona would have worked. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make sense as to why Zoe killed him. Like, you could have at least confronted Cordelia about it. Like, we've got Spalding upstairs tied up. What do you want us to do with him? You're the head of this academy. Yeah, it just makes no sense. I don't understand why. I think someone tried to explain it to me, why Zoe killed Spalding. But it just makes zero sense. Maybe it will come clear in the later episodes. But I, just, I don't think it will man. I don't think it will. Spalding's death was completely pointless. And unneeded. Unnecessary. Uncalled for. It was just. He, he died just so he could stop Fiona in the future. Like. I don't know. Uh, Misty Day apparently is the next Supreme. I I don't know. I don't think she is. Like, resurrection's good and stuff. But Zoe can also resurrect. 
and we still don't know the extent of her powers, so she might have more than resurgence. But we're yet to find out. And obviously there's everyone else in the Academy who could be the Supreme. But yeah, that's that done. Recap over with. Cool, so this is episode 9. It's called Head. Head. That's it, Head. So yeah, let's go. Let's just play. Get a little older. Nice. A little hooch in there. 91. That really keep us warm. <laughs> Who is that, Luke? Hey. There's nothing to be nervous about. Hank. Oh, Hank. Your hands steady, just like we practiced on the range. Boom! What a shot. I'm, I'm sorry. No mercy. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, she still moved. Queen Anne. Take this filthy thing out back and burn it. I don't ever want to see it again. You need the sweet release at long last. Queenie ain't gonna do it. I think they should stick Delphine's head in a in a jug. Have her like watch over the academy. We need you back inside that house. Maybe a problem. Somebody blinded Cordelia. A an unknown attacker threw acid in her face. Not unknown. We authorized that. Oh. We wanted to make sure she needed you. I know how confusing it can be to pretend to love someone. Is your enemy, but you can never lose yourself to the lie because someday she will have to be put down. He ain't gonna do it, man. He's abusive father and shit. <clears throat> He's gonna go back on it. Power, compassion, and uniqueness. We are lucky to have found her and she us. It resonates with my own story, doesn't it? Myrtle, I want to toast you for your spirit of... I knew it! I knew the green shit was some poison. Them green bulls. Fuck! I knew it was... I knew it was... I knew there was something... I, there was something wrong with it. I've invited you here not to chastise you or exact revenge, but to help out the coven. To help out my beloved Cordelia. <laughs> I bet you thought, oh, she left the melon baller in there. She's growing old and forgetful. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! She was absolutely gorgeous. Oh, she's got her eyesight back. Did she take one eye each then? Oh my god. I can see. Should have seen it coming. You couldn't find two that matched. Why do they look so familiar? The generous donors wish to remain anonymous. What the? It Hug me again. Of course I will, my darling girl. No sight. Nothing. My visions. They're gone. I'm starving. Girl, you ain't got no stomach. What are you gonna do? Chew it and shit it out of your neck? I knew Queenie would 
Take the head. Time for some sensitivity training. What fresh hell is this? Roots. The saga of an American family. Oh, Roots as well. You are going to watch all eight hours of it, followed by the sequel, Roots, The Next Generation. Why didn't you just throw my head in that fire pit? How's this guy not... Ah! Oh! Oh shit. Oh shit. You feel in the wrath of broken promises. Where are the heads of the white witches? Tree. Oh. They die tonight. Well, the next needle I use will put a hole in your heart. You understand me? Oh shit, man. What a predicament he's in. Kind of like him now. Hank. Hanky. Hey. He ain't gonna do it. Well, shit. He ain't gonna do it. Who's this? Hey, I'm Misty. Oh. Can we have this conversation alone, please? Your shit's in a box in the closet. Get it, and then get out. Shit, man. He's gonna go on some rampage. He ain't gonna do it, though. Whoa! Where's he come from? What's in there? What's in there, girl? Kyle. Jesus, these girls. Oh. Oh. Have to leave now. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Luke says there is a god, and that he's judging you for my lapses of faith, for what you did to his father. Way. There we go. What have you done? Whoa! God says my father's death was no accident. I want to be a good father. I'd, I still want to be in Luke's life, but we're done. Maybe one day you'll understand. Oh no, I hate, I hate wasps. And I got both headphones in. told me you put the bees in the car. You knew dad was allergic to bees. That's head. That's that's the name. That's the title of the episode. Head. That's why. You don't speak for my son. He's been in that bed fighting for his life. This has all been some dark-sided trick. You leave us alone. Get out! <laughs> Come on in. Huh? Oh shit! Here we go. Hank, I don't want Hank to die. It's gonna go after Marie. It's gonna go after Marie. Go on, Hank! Let's go get Marie, baby. Hank. Go, Hank. Not Queenie, though. Not Queenie. Oh.
This is sick! Bluff it. Shoot! Oh! Oh! Okay, all right. Where do I begin? Where do I begin? First of all, I know Queenie ain't dead. I know she done the voodoo shit with the whatever man. She shot the back of her thing to on Hank, so Hank died. Oh my god, that was so sick though. Like with the music and that. I need to. I need to know what that song is. That's a good song. I like it. I'm speechless, guys. I don't know what to say. Do you know what? It's a good thing. If you're watching this on Patreon, it's a very good thing that you're watching this on Patreon because that whole scene obviously had that song over it and I don't know yet if I'm going to get done for copyright If it were once I put it on YouTube. That episode is going to be very, very, very hard to cut down to 10 minutes. Using only 30 second clips as well. Oh my god. I'm kind of not looking forward to that. Every episode is usually... Like, it's quite easy to put... Scenes in under 10 minutes. But fuck me, a lot happened in that. You had Myrtle with the eyeballs. Cordelia's eyesight coming back. Myrtle's chopping... Jeez. Myrtle chopped them up as well. Is she Jigsaw? Is there another Saw film coming out or something starring Myrtle Snow? Is that what's going on? She chopped them up, no bother. She was so sweet and innocent before she died. And now she came back. She's come back like a different a different woman. Different witch. So many times during the episode, I was like... Talking. And then something major happened. And I was like, oh! Like the dog... When the dog was like licking Kyle's face, I was like, "Oh yeah, who's 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 a good girl? Who's a good girl? Oh, that's cute." And then what? He ate, he ate the dog. He bit the dog's neck. And Fiona fixed Kyle, not completely, but she fixed Kyle in a way that he can guard the house. Like he's the guard dog now. Man, that ending scene with the music over the top. Hank in slow motion. Bombing through. Bang. Bang. He had a shotgun. <laughs> that was sick. And then Queenie getting shot. You're like, no, Queenie. And then you put the then she puts the gun in her mouth. And I kind of forgot. I forgot for like a split, maybe like two or three seconds, that she could do the voodoo shit on him. I thought she was just ending it because she got shot. I was like, oh my god. And then, obviously, when she pulled the trigger, Hank kind of flew back. Okay, I found it. Woo! The Golden Gospel Singers' Oh Freedom is the song. I shall be listening to that. Good song. Very good song. Especially... Ah. Uh, I'm going to keep going on about that scene, man. That scene was one of the best I've seen in American Horror Story so far. Like, including Murder House and Asylum. That scene with the song playing and Hank against uh, the voodoo 
queens, or the voodoo witches, I should say, was sick. That's my favourite scene out of American Horror, Horror Story so far. And a lot of shit happened in that episode. That might be my favourite episode of the season. I don't know what's going to happen now. Well, I, do I know what's going to happen? Fiona and Marie are obviously going to set up some sort of partnership. It's probably going to backfire. There's probably going to be really bad trust issues. Like, Fiona and all of them lot still don't know that Marie set Hank up to kill them. Whether or not that truth comes out. I don't know. Um, Cordelia's sight is now gone. If she still had the sight, maybe she could touch Marie. Uh, I don't know. As she's brushing past her. And then see that she set Hank up to it. And then they kill Marie, maybe. I don't know. Delphine. I don't know what's going on with Delphine. I think she's just a, she's just a severed head at the moment. I was going to say no one knows she's there. But obviously Queenie knows she's there. Only one. Kyle being able to talk. Luke getting smothered with the pillow. Are you serious? What is this mum on? This mum is delusional. Killed her own husband. I mean, he was getting sucked off by someone. Like, she caught him in the act. But he was allergic to bees. And she put a load of bees in his car. And then locked it, like, kept spamming the lock button so he didn't get out. And he died from it. And then she's just killed... She's just killed her own son. So what's she going to do now? Because I thought her son was her everything. She might, Maybe she might even kill herself out of guilt. And that's just, like, a sad side story. Nan's going to be upset. Unless they can resurrect Luke as well. But... If I'm being honest, there's a, there's a bit, not like too much resurrection, but whenever someone dies now, I'm not that disappointed because I know that there's a possibility that they could just get resurrected. Like when Madison died, I was like, whoa. But then that was before I knew about like the resurrection kind of thing because I think it only happened to Kyle previously. So I wasn't really sure of how the resurrection stuff worked but with misty day around i guess every, every, anything's possible maybe there's a plan maybe there's a plan to get rid of misty day so she can stop resurrecting people and then witches can die or i don't know something maybe marie is going to find out about misty day having the power of resurgence so Marie is going to be like, okay, if I can take care of Misty Day, then I can, I can just take care of the rest. Honestly, I don't know. I don't really know what else to say. I'm kind of like speechless at what happened. I feel like of what I just watched doesn't even need explaining. Like, it was like, I don't know. I, I keep saying the word like as well. But ah, uh, that scene with the music over, man. I don't think I need to explain it. It was that good. It's one of the best scenes I've seen on American Horror Story, honestly. That's... Like, you had that, yeah, but it was like a montage of everything. You even had... I think just at the end of the song, as it faded out, you had the mum smothering Luke with a pillow. I don't know if he's dead, though. Is he going to die? Obviously... If, she, if she's gone that far to put the pillow over his head and do that, obviously he's going to die. But what I'm thinking is, is he going to get resurrected? Or is the mum going to hide the body? I don't know. I might even leave it there, though. A great episode, honestly. One of the best I've seen in, in American Horror Story so far over the three seasons. I know I keep saying that, but... I loved it, man. I loved it. I might even watch it again. Not the episode, but just uh, just that scene. That was sick. I liked it a lot. And that was episode nine. And there's only four episodes to go. 
If the last four episodes are anything like episode nine, then, oh boy, this might be my favourite season. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Um, so this this part will now be to my YouTube audience. So if you're watching this on Patreon, feel free to end the video now. If you want to, I'm just going to give a shout out to the Patreon thing. And I just want to say, because of that scene with the music on, obviously I don't know if that's going to get copyrighted or not. But... And it was a long scene as well. That was a long, long scene. And it's going to be very hard for me to cut it down to 30 seconds worth of clips. So if you wanted to, you can watch the whole reaction in full on my Patreon. There's no cuts. There's no edits. None of your favourite scenes are missed out because all of your favourite scenes are there. Ready. Ready and waiting. And if you're signing up for the full reaction of episode 9... Uh, you know, the full reaction to every episode of Murder House and Asylum is on there as well, including the previous eight episodes of Coven in full, by the way. Did I mention that all episodes are in full with no cuts? There's no 10 minutes worth of shit going on here like on YouTube. Patreon is full and you get early access as well. So if this is episode nine... Then episode 10 will be on there as well. Not sure about episode 11, 12 or 13. But if there's any more early access episodes, there'll be some writing up here telling you otherwise. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Episode 9 and 10, the full versions will be on my Patreon as well. Early access to episode 10 will be on there. If you're watching this on YouTube, episode 9 and this has just been released. But yeah, I'm going to go watch episode 10 now. I'm going to go see what happens with Marie and Fiona why don't you come and join me watch it with me baby anyway enough rambling thanks guys for watching again great episode and I'll see you for episode 10 take it easy